it's time for the Sport Corner CM Hockey League News. This episode of the Sport Corner CM Hockey League News is brought to you by the Big Chili Magazine, where in this issue, there's a great article for all you live music lovers out there, where the Big Chili puts together a comprehensive list of what they feel are the best places to experience live music. Our Week 10 games were on Sunday, January 28th. In our first game, we had Hertz facing off against the Sukhumvit Spitfires. Hertz were coming into this one after a big win over Expedia on the 25th. The two biggest things that Hertz really need to do right now is, one, continue to play like a team, and two, play a full game. Hertz seem to play well in the first period, but then they fall apart in the second period, so they have to play catch-up in the third. If they can play three periods like they do the first and the third, they should be able to come out on top of the Spitfires. The Sukhumvit Spitfires are coming into this one after a tough loss to the aware on the 25th. They need to shrug off this loss and play the fast game that they're used to playing. If they can do this, they should be able to keep Hertz on their heels and come out on top. Hertz came out in this one trying to play mind games on the Sukhumvit Spitfires by taking their bench which seemed to rattle the Spitfires in the beginning. Seven and a half minutes into this one saw Brendan Vick score the first goal of the night with the assist coming from Andy Bryan and Alistair Fawcett. After this, things went back and forth between both teams with some good passing and good scoring opportunities. With just under two and a half minutes left in the first period, Brendan received a pass from Ralph Dittmer and put one behind Dream Uncle Patsanuk to end the period with Hertz leading 2-0. Just two and a half minutes into the second period saw the Spitfires answer back with a goal by sub Tim Supankamot, which was assisted by Adrian Myers. With 5.02 left in the period, Tan Limpipet tied this up for the Spitfires with an unassisted goal. Two minutes later, Ith Van Tannepakul scored for the Spitfires with the assist coming from Tim and Michael White. With just 15 seconds left in the period, White added to the Spitfires' fourth unanswered goal with the assist coming from Tan and Gary Cosby. Two and a half minutes into the third period saw Hertz trying to mount a comeback when Mike Triaka scored with the assist coming from Champ Sipadililuk and Mu Tang Sakol. But three minutes after this goal, the Spitfire scored again. This one from Harrison Ace Ostemelt, which was assisted by Ernesto Ladiesman Bauer. With just two minutes left in the game, Hertz pulled Lance from the net to try and get two quick goals. But things just didn't work out for them, and with five seconds left in the game, Brad Big Daddy Wilson scored an unassisted empty netter when he broke up a play and got free. The star of the game for Hertz went to Brendan Vick for his two goals. The Rolling Stone Pizza player of the game went to Brad Big Daddy Wilson for his great play up and down the ice all night and his empty netter at the end of the game, and had a chance to chat with him after the game. I'm here with the Rolling Stone Pizza player of the game, Brad, congratulations. Thank you, how are you doing? Outstanding, wow, what a game. Yeah, it was a good one. They came out with a little psychological warfare, stealing our bench, and uh, we weren't going to allow that. So uh, I think we won our bench back, which was good. So what happened in the second period, man? You guys just opened up. Um, we came out a little bit slow. They, they got out pretty quick. We had a couple bad goals. I even scored a goal for the other team today. Um, but then, yeah, we just kind of stuck with it, kept skating, and when we skate, good things happen. So Excellent. Well, congratulations again. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Our second game of the night at 9.30 was Aware facing off against Expedia. Aware coming into this game unstoppable. They have won their last eight games, and it doesn't look like anybody is going to be able to stop them. As long as Patrick Leduc stays strong between the pipes and they don't get lax in their game, they should be able to continue dominating the teams into the playoffs. Expedia have come into this one on a seven-game losing streak, the longest losing streak of this season. They just can't seem to find a way to get back in the win column. One of the reasons for this is they can't seem to get all their players on the ice with people out traveling or injured. For them to win this one, they'll need to find a way to slow down Aware's speed. If they can do this, they might have a chance in this one. Aware started this one off with a quick goal by Aware's captain, Patrick Lumbach, one minute and five seconds in, which was assisted by Yoni Hanonen and Darius Konotopaz. A minute later, an Aware score again, this one by Yin Tan Krokriat, which was assisted by David Bohr and Devin Michael. A minute and a half later, and Expedia finally get on the board when Jordan Sharpshooter Ashton steals the puck and streaks down the ice and buries the puck in the net behind the Duke. Just inside the eight-minute mark of the period saw Aware get their third goal of the period. This one, an unassisted rocketed wrist shot by Yeen. The second period saw Aware put the first points up again quickly. Just six minutes in, this laser-guided shot by Christian Olsen, which was assisted by David. With 9.30 on the clock, David nets one for the Aware, with the assist coming from Christian and Lundback. A minute later saw John Shiknovsky score one for Expedia, with the assist going to Jordan and Andrew Schutza. With just 11 seconds left in the period, Expedia bring it within two when Jordan scored his second of the night with the assist coming from John and Mike Wilson. One minute into the third period saw David called for tripping. 
This didn't slow a wear down, though, as they showed why they're the best in the league, and Devin scored an unassisted shorthanded goal with just 30 seconds left in David's penalty. At 9.02, John scored his second of the night, with Mike and Andrew getting their second assist of the night. With 7.26 on the clock, Mungkor Sukwibun is called for hooking. Aware was doing a great job of killing off this penalty when Christian tried to clear the puck from the zone and accidentally sent it out of the rink, getting a delay of game penalty to put Expedia at a two-man advantage. Expedia just couldn't capitalize on this and Aware killed off both of these penalties. With just 27 seconds left in the game, Aware's Ali Regnarok Mois scored a final goal of the night. At the end, we saw Aware winning its ninth consecutive game with a score of 7-4, to four with the wear just edging out Expedia in shots 27-26. to The star of the game for Expedia went to John Shignovsky for his two goals and assist. The Rolling Stone Pizza player of the game went to David Bohr for his goal and two assists, and had a chance to talk with him after the game. Hey, of the Rolling Stone Pizza player of the game, Dave, congratulations. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Tom. Wow, great game. Yeah, yeah, that was, uh, that was a battle. And, you know, our team has been playing uh, really well. We're on a, you know, a hot win streak. Uh, credit to the boys. We keep working hard, and uh, if we keep playing as a unit coming into the playoffs, we're, uh, we should have a good run for it. So, uh, yeah, we all played well. So what was going through your head when you got your goal tonight? Um, well, I saw an opening. I curled in uh, in front, and uh, I was going to, you know, cycle it because we've been doing a lot of cycles. And then, uh, well, they gave me a bit of an opening, and then, uh, you know, I just saw... I saw a short a little, little side in the top corner, and uh, luckily, luckily it uh, went in. Excellent. So, you know, I was aim for the other side, and it goes the other side. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Well, congratulations again. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks, Tom. Have, you have a good one. Thank you. All right. Woo-hoo! Going into week 11, which will be on February 4th, in our first game at 8.30, we have Expedia facing off against the Sukhumvit Spitfires. Expedia are really struggling right now. They just can't seem to get themselves out of this downward spiral they're in. They're still tied for third place, but they have lost their last eight games. For them to get out of this spiral, they need to start playing as a team and stop trying to win individually. If they can do this, they should be able to beat the Spitfires. The Sukhumvit Spitfires have been doing well this season. The only team they really seem to be struggling with is Ware. They have a very fast-paced game, and if they can keep up this fast pace, they should be able to frustrate Expedia and pull off the win. In our second game, at 9.30, we have Aware facing Hertz. Aware are on a massive hot streak right now, winning their last nine games. One of the many things they have going for them right now is their passing game. They pass the puck a lot, and in doing so, they really stretch out the defending teams, leaving gaps in their play, opening up shots on goal. As long as they keep doing this, there isn't a team right now that can compete with them. Hertz are tied right now for third place. They lost last week to the Sukhumvit Spitfires, but they won the week before that to Expedia when they played as a team and were able to play strong for all three periods. If they can play like they did against Expedia, they should be able to compete with Aware, and if they get lucky, Aware might get a bit lazy. If this happens, Hertz might surprise Aware. That's all for this week, and I'll see you at the rink. The opposite was very strong. I, I was good. The Sport Corner CM Hockey League News is brought to you by Big Chili Magazine, the best read expat lifestyle and news magazine in Thailand. It covers interesting issues in Bangkok and the region while bringing its readers engaging stories and various exclusive interviews, food reviews, and more. You can find the Big Chili Magazine in bookstores and online at thebigchili.com.